Pegfograstim is a synthetic form of a natural substance in your body that helps to increase the production of white blood cells. This is important because white blood cells help your body fight off infections. Pegfograstim is used for people whose white blood cell production is low due to chemotherapy. Some brands may also be used to increase white blood cells after exposure to large amounts of radiation. The Udenica Auto-Injector 6 mg per 0.6 ml Subcutaneous Auto-Injector Leukocyte Stimulating Factors helps to increase white blood cells and is used for people undergoing chemotherapy. It is important to take the daily dosage as prescribed by your healthcare provider. The best time to take this medication will depend on your individual treatment plan, so be sure to follow your doctor's instructions carefully. Before using Udenica Auto-Injector 6 mg per 0.6 ml Subcutaneous Auto-Injector Leukocyte Stimulating Factors, it's important to read the patient information leaflet and instructions for use provided by your pharmacist. This medication is given by injection under the skin as directed by your doctor. If you are using it during chemotherapy, it is usually given once during each chemotherapy cycle, but not within 14 days before or 24 hours after chemotherapy. Your doctor will provide specific directions for when to use this medication. If you are using it after radiation exposure, it is usually given for two doses, one week apart. The dosage and schedule are based on your medical condition and response to treatment. Children's dosage is also based on weight. If you use this medication at home, make sure to learn all preparation and usage instructions from your healthcare professional and the product package. Before use, Take the medication out of the refrigerator and let it warm up to room temperature for at least 30 minutes. Do not heat this medication any other way, such as by heating in the microwave or placing in hot water, and do not shake it. Before injecting each dose, clean the injection site with rubbing alcohol and change the injection site each time to lessen injury under the skin. Do not inject pegfilgrastim into skin that is bruised, tender, red, hard, or that has scars, moles, or stretch marks. It's also important to learn how to store and discard medical supplies safely. If you experience aching or pain in your bones and muscles, you can take a non-aspirin pain reliever like acetaminophen. Redness, swelling, itching, or bruising at the injection site may also occur, but if these effects persist or worsen, it's important to notify your doctor or pharmacist. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed to you because your doctor believes that the benefits outweigh the potential risks. Most people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it's crucial to inform your doctor immediately if you experience any serious side effects such as pink or bloody urine, easy bleeding or bruising, fever, fast heartbeat, purple or red spots on your skin, or back pain. Seek medical help right away if you experience breathing problems, unusual decrease in urination, unusual tiredness, swelling or puffiness of the body, or if you develop stomach or abdominal pain, or shoulder pain. Rarely, this medication may increase the risk of developing certain bone marrow disorders or blood cancers in people with breast or lung cancer who are receiving chemotherapy or radiation. It's important to discuss this with your doctor for more details. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, seek medical help immediately if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching or swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects. Remember, it's important to always consult your doctor or pharmacist with any concerns or questions about your medication. Before using Udenica Auto-Injector, it's important to inform your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies you may have, especially to pegfilgrastim or filgrastim products, or to aflapegrastim. This product may also contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions, so it's essential to discuss this with your pharmacist. It's also crucial to inform your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history, especially if you have sickle cell disease or spleen problems. If you are planning to have surgery, make sure to let your doctor or dentist know about all the products you use, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. If you are pregnant, this medication should only be used when clearly needed, so be sure to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. If you are breastfeeding, it's important to consult your doctor before using this medication, as it may pass into breast milk. 
It is important to be aware of potential drug interactions that may affect how your medications work or increase the risk of serious side effects. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription slash non-prescription drugs and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not make any changes to your medication dosage without consulting your doctor. It is important to note that pegfilgrastim is very similar to filgrastim, so do not use a filgrastim product while using a pegfilgrastim product. Additionally, this medication may interfere with certain lab tests, such as bone imaging tests, which could lead to false test results. It is important to inform lab personnel and all of your doctors that you are using this drug. When using Udenica auto-injector 6 mg per 0.6 ml subcutaneous auto-injector leukocyte stimulating factors, it is important to take it as prescribed to experience the full benefits. The daily dosage and optimal timing for taking this medication will be determined by your doctor based on your individual needs. Be sure to follow your doctor's instructions carefully for the best results. If someone has taken too much Udenica and is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, you can call a provincial poison control center. It is important to remember not to share this medication with others. While using Udenica auto-injector 6 mg per 0.6 ml subcutaneous auto-injector leukocyte stimulating factors, it is important to have regular lab and medical tests, such as a complete blood count and kidney function tests. Make sure to keep all medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. This medication should be taken as directed by your healthcare provider, and it is important to follow the recommended dosage and timing for the best results. Make sure to take each dose of Udenica auto-injector 6 mg per 0.6 ml subcutaneous auto-injector leukocyte stimulating factors as prescribed by your doctor. If you happen to miss a dose, seek advice from your doctor or pharmacist for a new dosing schedule. Do not take a double dose to make up for the missed one. When storing Udenica auto-injector, it should be kept in the refrigerator, and it's important to keep it in the original package to protect it from light. It should not be frozen or shaken. If you take it out of the refrigerator, make sure to use it or discard it within the time directed in the product package. It's important to keep all medications away from children and pets. When it comes to discarding the product, do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Properly discard the product when it is expired or no longer needed, and you can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for more information on how to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.